Karsten and Karsten, and now you've got Kirsten. And at the end of this, we're going to do a tongue twister. <laughs> so, um, actually, my first name is, I, I guess the Americans changed the spelling, but my first name is Swedish, my last name is German, and I'm third generation American, and nobody's ever been able to pronounce my first name or my last name in the United States. Um, but I studied at the University uh, in Freiburg for, for a year, and, uh, and it was wonderful to have people actually be able to say both my first and last name. So it's always fun to be back in Europe. Um, I'm based in San Jose, California, and uh, Kirsten, in the US, we could say Kiel, which should be Q with the umlaut, but uh, yeah, the Americans changed it up. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm thrilled to be here today. I loved hearing uh, Giuseppe's presentation, and about all the hackathons you're doing. It's really exciting work and the startup. Um, this is exactly the kind of stuff that we do inside of DevNet. And so it's really inspiring to hear your story. So I thank you for having me here today. And uh, I, I don't have a lot of time, but uh, I do want to share a little bit about DevNet with you. I understand, I guess I should probably address this right away. You all have had this on your seat. Um, as it goes with technologies, and when you're kind of pushing the envelope with technologies, there's always a little bit of uh, tweaking when you get on site with uh, trying something new. Uh, apparently, some of the Android versions are, are having a little, uh, having some glitches. Uh, our team is aware, and if you go up to the info desk, they will help you. Uh, the one thing I would say is if you do a session or a, a learning lab or anything, record it down you know, in some sort of notepad or whatever, and just go up to the desk and let them know. But uh, for those of you who are able to do it, I, I have an Android, and I work through the issues. Um, it's really fun, because the bot starts to talk back to you and, and tell you to take the next step. And uh, so I hope you'll enjoy this. Uh, we're starting to build gamification into, into DevNet, and uh, this is our first foray into it here at Cisco Live. So what is DevNet? So has anybody here ever heard of DevNet? Can I see some hands? Anyone? Yeah? OK. Uh, anybody ever been on our, our portal, the developer.cisco.com? Or if you, actually, we have a, uh, a Netacad community on there now. Has anybody been to the community? Nobody? Oh my gosh, it's good I'm here. OK. <laughs> um, well, I, will, I want to welcome you to the, the community. We started off, par probably part of the reason you haven't been on our site is, uh, is that our organization started off targeting software developers. So we are the software group inside of Cisco that is empowering developers and IT people with uh, the ability to create apps and integrations uh, using Cisco platforms and APIs. Does, I, I noticed Giuseppe used API in his presentation. Does it, can someone tell me what an API is? <laughs> you don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I do have a gift if someone can answer that question. So, you know, Google is your friend. <laughs> okay, what's an API? Oh, you get a DevNet hat. <laughs> it's even Way to go. Uh, yes, yeah, so the application programming interface. So if this is a new term for you, it's basically taking two pieces of software and putting them together. Think of it as Lego blocks or maybe uh, in our physical world, we have an, uh, a plug that we put into an outlet. So this is two pieces of software coming together. Uh, can someone tell me a, a app that they know of that might use integration of uh, APIs to, to surface some new functionality? Um, Reddit has bot OK, great. Um, so you win a hat. <laughs> Um, the, the one that I would like to share with you that's one of my favorites because they have four or five APIs built in it is Uber. So when you look at Uber, you see a map, but Uber doesn't do anything with maps. What they're doing is they're using an open API from Google and they're pulling that map into their application. 
They also use uh, Braintree for payment processing. They don't do anything with payment processing except leverage a, an open API. And uh, SendGrid is their way to send emails. So they specialize in technology, and then they leverage best of breed partners to plug these pieces of software together that surfaces what you see as an app. So this is creating something called the app economy. And more and more companies, the number of APIs are growing by the day. And because when you leverage these APIs, it allows you to move much faster, to specialize on your core competency, and uh, to really be able to be more nimble and, and adaptable. So we have been the, that just, I wanted to give a little bit of background on APIs, not just to throw the, the term out there so you understand um, partly what we're doing. So we've been, we started off a little over two years ago empowering the developer to utilize the software technology, train them, uh, provide documentation, give them sample code, uh, provide test environments, and then we realized, well, we really need to expand this out to system engineers and now students. So it's fairly recent. I actually worked in the networking academy. I worked with Giuseppe on a, a skill zone pilot. And then my background has been working with developers at Microsoft and Nokia prior to coming to Cisco. And so it seemed kind of natural. DevNet was wanting to bring more of the networking academy students and instructors into the community. Because what do we see happening? Can, it, what's happening with networking? Somebody's up for a hat. <laughs> what's, a, what's an emerging trend in networking? Increasing. What's that? Increasing. Increasing, OK. Pretty much everything. Mechanical, electrical, we network together. Software-defined networks. Software-defined networks. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> it's yes. <laughs> Um, no, they're, they're absolutely, all of these answers were actually right, but I was looking for software-defined networking or automation or network programmability. And if you come to DevNet, you'll find a lot about network programmability. We have uh, learning tracks and opportunities. We're working closely with, um, with the networking academy, and so there's a lot of enrichment opportunities for you inside DevNet, and so we've extended it to... Uh, to students of NetAcad. As you can see, there's a whole breadth of technologies. And after Cisco Live, we'll have another icon up here on our platform for innovation, which is mobility. Um, we've just released 10 uh, I uh, Apple iOS applications, so we'll have more focus on mobility. We're constantly growing and changing. And it's a great way for you. Carson was talking about. Uh, that breadth and having the opportunity to go different ways. If you want to explore different career paths, there's a number of different learning tracks you can take to start to see if that resonates with you. And uh, it is a community of professional developers as well and channel partners, so there's a lot of expertise there that can help you along the way. So this is really how we break down DevNet. Uh, we, we teach, we're, it's all about learning, and we teach through these things called learning tracks, which are labs and modules and, uh, and tracks that can take you from beginner all the way up you know, through um, be, becoming an expert in it. And, uh, and we don't do certifications, and we don't have curriculum. This is all online, and it's free. And we, all we are trying to do is build out the ecosystem uh, for Cisco and our partners. And so it's really an investment in, in teaching people. We do want to teach you a little bit about coding. And I know sometimes uh, when you focus heavily on networking, coding may not be so appealing. Um, but I have to tell you, I, I took a, a Spark coding class this week. It was a lot of fun. Spark is actually pretty easy to work with. And so I encourage you today, if you have time, we'll have workshops running there. And, uh, and maybe check out, give it a little try, uh, do a, either a learning lab online virtually, or uh, you can, can join one of the workshops. 
Inspire is, uh, we have something called DevNet Creations on our site, which features all the innovations, which you'll also see when you go to the DevNet Zone. I hope you all will come to the DevNet Zone. This is our showcase that we put on. Our team works for months to do this. Um, so you'll see uh, IoT Train running there, and Debbie the bot communicates with, uh, with the IoT Train. Uh, in the center of where we have our learning labs. Uh, but there are a number of innovations. The hackathon group that was looking at smart cities, I really encourage you to go see what they're doing in Paris, France. You're gonna be able to see location of people and how they're optimizing the streets and the walkways. And, uh, and they'll be able to show you on a big screen all of the, the work they're doing with open data there. Um, so we have, and then I also encourage you to check out Built.io, which is a partner that's doing very low-code solutions, basically drag and drop to do integrations. Um, so a lot of interesting things to take a look at and, and inspire you. And then finally, connect. Connect in a number of different ways. So connecting APIs, connecting you with professionals who have expertise and, and can help you in your journey, um, connecting you you know, with one another and at events. And so these are the four uh, tenants for, for us in, in what we do inside DevNet. Um, we've created this community. Please go sign up. I encourage you to do so. Uh, the first person who signs up before I leave the room, I have a gift for you. So uh, you can log on right now and, uh, and raise your hand if you, or yell out if you uh, have, have signed up. Um, we're also on Twitter and Facebook. When you go to the community site, you're gonna see this box, so click the blue box to become a member. And there's three simple steps, but the last thing I want you to do is make sure and click that you are part of the Networking Academy, because then we'll be able to target you with uh, new opportunities and, and uh, work with you. Um, so I just wanted to share quickly, this is Jose Bogarin, he's a Netacad grad. He was just featured in a keynote by, the, uh, by Ruba Borna, Borno uh, of Cisco, and uh, he is a person who started in DevNet as a student, built up his expertise. He got in a Spark support room, started answering questions for people that our staff, uh, you know, hadn't gotten to yet, and, uh, and so he's really become, he helped uh, the startup become quite successful with some of the DevNet technologies. And then finally, uh, encourage you to join us in the DevNet zone. This is Debbie, our, whoops, I'm still on the next. <laughs> uh, this is uh, Debbie, our bot, and I uh, encourage you to have fun with him, and uh, come take a workshop or learn about our innovations. Lots of experts to help you if you get stuck. Has anyone signed up yet? Okay. So you won a DevNet power bank, which I think is uh, the best gift of all. Um, are there any questions? I think we're about out of time, but. You're already a member too, I'm out. But uh, in, when you do do these steps with the bot and you complete learning labs, we have all kinds of goodies up there for you. You can win DevNet jackets and hats and uh, all kinds of stuff. So I encourage you to come, come join us. Some people spend their entire time at Cisco Live in the DevNet zone and, and really just dig in deep and, and do a lot of learning. So any other questions? Oh, way back there. What's that? Netacad doesn't work in the app? Oh. So you have instruction number four, and then uh, you need Netacad for the uh, app, Spark app? Oh, so, okay, but you're talking about work. Spark. Spark, yeah, yes. Th that's what I mentioned in the beginning. We are, or do you have an I'm Android sorry. probably? Uh, we're having some issues with Android. But if you go to the information desk inside the DevNet zone, and they will walk you through and, and help you uh, get started. But if, you, if the bot doesn't get working for you, then just manually you know, write down what you're doing, and you can still win prizes. So 
Was there another question or? Yeah. One more. So my question is regarding coding. You are using Spark, right? Uh, well, we have Python. I mean, we, there's, we have over 111 learning labs. So uh, whatever your interest is, that whole portfolio of technologies I put up there, we have labs and, uh, and course. Maybe you know. Java or Python, so you ignore these language, or is I understand that these are the perfect language for developing something like apps and like socket programming, Python is network programming, these kind of things. Yeah, so, so you'll, find, mm. you'll find introductory Python uh, coding. We're working with Netacad too, to, because that's coming along. Um, also, uh, with Spark, JavaScript is, is very prevalent. Um, so I encourage you to go to the learning tracks underneath the learn uh, section of, of DevNet, and you'll be able to see what all we offer. OK. Perfect. Great. Awesome. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for introducing us to DevNet. Thank you. Thank you.